Welcome to NMSU. I am Deanna Dugas, the Director for Instruction and Research Support here in ICT and the NMSU Lead for the Cyber Infrastructure Team. My name is Nicholas Von Wolf. I'm a Systems Administrator here at New Mexico State University. I work with Deanna on the high-performance computer. And we are here to support the computational needs of the EPSCoR program, ranging from the undergrad, grad, postdoc, all the way up to the faculty member researchers. We are currently inside the Computer Center building, and we are also where the data center, the brains of the institution, lies. Inside that data center is also the HPC. As of today, Discovery has 25 compute nodes and 11 GPU nodes with a total of slightly more than a thousand cores. Project-related improvements specifically for the high-performance computer include four GPU nodes and the addition of two three terabyte apiece high memory nodes. In addition, there is one petabyte of storage capability. The HPC is composed of three racks of hardware. The first rack on the far left has our original cluster compute nodes. This was the original hardware we got from 2015 through 2018, uh, where the cluster was first put together and became a thing here at NMSU. And then in the middle rack, we have our, I believe it's six, EPSCoR purchase nodes. These are the nodes at the bottom. They, uh, these allow for accelerated machine learning, graphics processing, modeling. A machine learning task that may take months for using the CPU can be done in a matter of days on a GPU. Um, a lot of students use this for research for their PhD or their master's or for classes. Hi, my name is Quickly Rasman Jr. I'm going for my master's degree in computer science engineering from New Mexico Tech. I first became involved with this project in my undergrad. And with June, I'm researching the application of using machine learning, specifically a deep force classifier, to detect outliers in smart grid data. Machine learning classifiers take a lot of RAM in general but mine specifically take even more than that. So I couldn't actually conduct this research without the high-performance computing resources. And then in the far right rack, we have our high-speed storage cluster. EPSCoR bought the 220 variant, and then we added on a third storage with the CC Star grant. The most recent grant that we've gotten is actually the CC Star hardware grant, and the EPSCoR grant collaboration has been incredibly important and incredibly successful for receiving the CC STAR grant and amplifying its effects. The CC STAR allows um, and encourages classrooms, both undergrad and graduate across the state, to incorporate using the HPC inside of their classroom experience. NIC was vital in improving online resources and accessibility. And one of my favorite things is Open On Demand, which is a website access to the system. So that means that you don't have to know Linux, you don't have to know the command line in order to be able to access the cluster and do your analysis. And there is no way we would have been able to hire Nick without EPSCoR funds. Project-related improvements at NMSU also include having a new web page, increasing and improving the training modules. And for the first time ever, we now have a self-serve version of the training modules available to researchers outside of NMSU. After the EPSCoR grant ends, the resources will be returned back to the NMSU general pool. What that means is that anybody, without having to worry about fancy things like checkpointing their scripts, will be able to use those resources 